This week, we're going to take a different route. We're going to look at the unconscious process that other has to go through or can go through in order to just be themselves. What is that process? Let's start to find out. This is Being the Other. This is Being the Other. I'm Dr. Dwight Turner, and as always, it's a pleasure to be talking to yourselves about aspects of othering and so on. What we're going to do this week on this cast, which is titled The Dreams of the Other, is I'm going to present one dream. And this dream actually talks about, it follows on some of the recent podcasts about the difficulties in self-othering, the difficulties of, of taking on an identity that's not one's own in order to actually try and fit in with a subject's way of being. The dream is this. It's a, lot, it's a dream I had many, many years ago, so it's not one that I, I had recently, so I'm not that crazy. But the dream is, it goes as follows. I'm in my parents' house, I'm on the ground floor, and I'm actually walking towards a set of stairs which go downstairs to where the kitchen used to be. I'm still at the top of the stairs and I'm afraid of going down those same set of stairs because I know that downstairs in the kitchen in the basement is Hannibal Lecter. I know he's cooking something that he wants me to be aware of. Now, this dream is actually quite important when we look at aspects of ourselves that we suppress in order to fit in. Well, part of what I'm saying here is I've done the same thing as some of you watching this video would have done. They actually ordered this in order to survive in, a, in an arena which is as difficult as the UK. The important thing about this dream is that Hannibal Lecter, as a character who's Caucasian, who's white, is of the majority, is of the subject, let's call it that, I'm going to call it majority from now onwards, it's of the subject. And for some whatever reason, I've internalised that. And what I've internalised is a very distorted and destructive aspect of myself, which is actually destroying me from the inside out. We've looked at just what it is to be the other, what it is, what self-othering is, but now we're looking at the unconscious process that can then go on when one is self-othering within that. As I mentioned a couple of videos ago, when Lacan talks about the part of oneself that we suppress, the conscious one becomes um, the subject and the unconscious becomes the other, then what we actually have to do in order to maintain that imbalance or, or that structure is to force, keep forcing things into the unconscious which will actually keep it contained and away from ourselves. So my fear in the dream of going downstairs is hugely important here. Hugely important. Now I know, hence why I'm doing these casts right now, that over a period of time, years, I was able to walk down those stairs, beat the living daylights out of Hannibal Lecter in my dreams. Yes, it did happen in the dreams. And get rid of that internalized part of myself to be able to move it on. So what I'm actually saying in this is, the more that the other suppresses who they are, the more likely it is that these aspects are going to play themselves out unconsciously. In the past, I've looked at how there's there can be neurological problems that come with this, this sort of process, how there can be psychological problems as well. But this is the unconscious layer we're talking about here today for the first time. As always, this is just a snippet, a taster for what we actually talk about on this channel. If there are any items that you want me to just consider or talk about, then please drop me a line, leave me a quote down below. As always, it's a pleasure talking to yourselves on these casts. I'm Dr. Dwight Turner. This has been The Other. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.